Hey, so man, I wanted to also ask you about this situation with you moving from Chicago to Atlanta, man. How long have you been in Atlanta now? Probably like eight, nine years. Eight like, or nine years? Yeah, yeah. So were you one of the first people to move from Chicago to Atlanta? For sure. Yeah, hell yeah. Who else? Out? Yeah. And then Reggie did after me. But yeah, I'm one of the first for sure. <laughs> now, once, like recently I had talked to Rico Reckless and he felt like the moving from Chicago was one of the best things that he ever did. I even titled the video that, right? Man, it was one of the best things I ever did. I started me a family out there, man. I didn't know what I'm saying. Everybody loved me, man. I beat out here, man. You feel me? I be going crazy. Love play with me. Niggas do not play with me out here. Fuck my own team. I'm going up. Everybody going crazy. Shout out my boy Chase, man. He be shooting all my videos. Oh, type of thing. I ain't like, this is going on for like, so if y'all don't know, if y'all in Atlanta, it up change for the videos, man. Going crazy, bro. Do your homework on Chase, man. But like I said, man, niggas, it's a number of love out here for this not Atlanta. You can do all that. Ooh, niggas don't, niggas don't hate, bro. Everybody got guns. And everybody, it's, it's, it's different. Like, everybody got guns. Just die out here. So, no, like, I watch you to play with. Just be yourself and, you know what I'm saying, kick your feet up, bro, before your ass get turned to dust. Yeah, and in the South, man, most of the majority of the South are gun states, and a lot of people carry, you know what I mean? So it just, the way that people act towards each other, I think it adds, that's why it's so pleasant sometimes. People have that Southern hospitality, because there's always that unconditional threat of, yo, this could go down and somebody could really get shot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know but shit. I've been living out here so long. I, you know I know. I love out here though. So it's just like, it's just like, it's, it's, I'm telling you, like, I get paid for shows back to back. Like, it's different. Like, like this is the party city, guy. This is Black Hollywood, you feel me? So guess what? If I want to have a show tomorrow, I can have a show tomorrow. If I want to have a, a show every day out here, I can have a show every day out here, okay? And get money. And guess and I, what you say? Okay. And with Atlanta, it's pretty active. And like you said, man, a lot of people have moved in there. Do you feel hey, like... guess what? And everybody loves all right, Chicago. All right, A-OKD, oh, man. So I had a couple of things I wanted to ask you about, but I wanted to continue a little bit on what we were talking about with Chicago. How come you think so many drill rappers move from Chicago once they get popping now? Did you start that trend? Yeah, I think... I, no, I ain't started that trend. People been doing that shit. Dark everybody, but shit, it's just like shit. You get a lot of love out your city than in your city, you feel me? Nah, that's that's facts. I ain't gonna lie about that. I don't know what it is, because even if you look at the analytics on each artist on their YouTube, most of them, they get more views on outside city. It'll be some random city they get most of their video views on. You know what I mean? Tell you, yeah, I'm telling you, I've been doing shit. I got this whole big ass. Imagine how, see, I've been in Atlanta for that uh, eight years, so how much fair base you think I got out here? How much you think I was I've been doing out here? Think all that Atlanta fair base I got. It's a big ass city, too, gay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you could you built up a nice, you know, a nice uh following out there in Atlanta. You know what I mean? Super nice. That's what's up. Now, you also have your own clothing line there, is that true? Yes, yeah, sir. Ski. That's it. And how did how'd you get that established, man? Kick a little game for the youngsters about that. On some super saiyan shit, man, because people thought I was like, um they thought I was going crazy, but I really wasn't. <laughs> yeah. I really was. Well, they thought I was late. Thought I got my chain too, but really did it. Uh, I'll be stepping on niggas' neck, bro. Like, niggas know what's going on, gang, out here, for Like, I'm telling you, I'm not playing for I'll be, I don't know, for. But anyway, I was just on super, like, nigga thought, ooh, so, like, I, I was just, shit, I went, I went super saying, you feel me? That's what's going on. That nigga, that's why I said I'm about to go crazy. I'm super saying all that shit made sense, bro. Like, you see how all that, ooh, I, I was just went, you know what I'm saying? I went crazy. Go crazy, super sad. So, you know, nah, so I, I got just, it, man. Yeah, is it. that gonna be is that gonna be your new thing, or are you just that that's just your way of explaining how you powering up and moving ahead in the industry? You know what I mean? This, this is my new thing. I'm just knocking all these uh, rappers off the map. Like, look, Migo, he blocked me for you. Ain't see that video? Um, um, uh, that's doing like a me. I just said something about Migo. That's just got like one point three million. He blocked me quick. He don't need no more drill. What's his name? Yo, this dude right here with the C wool, all they got to it away. You don't need no more jewelry. I told him they don't need no more jewelry. He blocked me. 
Now, Lil Migo, he had a situation where his chains were getting taken. Back the 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 I guess ain't no other way to put it than that. You know what I mean? But where did it where did this where did this start? Like, did it just start for the fact that he always gets his he gets a lot of chains taken? <laughs> <laughs> where where you think it started at? I don't know. I don't know. I, I I'd love to hear the backstory because he prior to this because he blocked me for no reason. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Well, I'll be on his end, but he said, Oh no, like what you blocking me for? That's Folks. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, man. And sometimes people may, you might have said something that got under his skin or something like that. You know, people are fickle, man.